The end game has long since begun for Conte but, when we look back on his reign, if he can add the FA Cup to last year's title it will raise more questions than answers about why he is leaving. Chelsea's travelling fans chanted his name during the game and after 120 pulsating minutes as the FA Cup produced another piece of history because it was the first time a quarterfinal had gone to extra time. The supporters still love Conte even though the Chelsea manager has spent much of this season criticising the club and their business in the transfer market. And even though the players had been pushed to their physical limits in Barcelona in midweek, they still produced a performance which proved they want to finish the season in some style. Antonio Conte acknowledges the Chelsea support image, Rex, Shuttershock, Chelsea, face a battle to get back into the top four and yet the FA Cup could be one hell of a consolation prize and farewell for Conte, especially after two club legends, Gianfranco Zola and Petr Cech, got them Southampton in the semi-final draw. It was a cracking quarter-final full of drama and, despite the freezing weather, the atmosphere was red-hot and reminiscent of Leicester's title-winning season, loud, passionate and brilliant. But ultimately, Chelsea's pedigree won through and, incredibly, this will be their 27th major semi-final in all competitions since the 1998-99 season. Who says their managerial revolving door policy does not work? Leicester will be kicking themselves not just because it was N'Golo Kante, the hero of their title success two years ago, who was the best player on the pitch as he covered every blade of grass but also a terrible error by Leicester keeper Kasper Schmeichel gifted an extra-time winner to Chelsea substitute Pedro who headed home despite, at 5 feet 7 inches, being one of the smallest players on the pitch. Pedro heads home as Kasper Schmeichel blunders, image, Reuters, that settled a game which was on a knife edge, heading towards a penalty shootout after a nip-and-tuck encounter which Chelsea dominated in the first half but Leicester came back brilliantly. The cup would only deepen Conti's legacy but one player who has suffered more than most under his reign this season is Alvaro Morata and yet even the Spain striker enjoyed a change in fortunes this time. Morata, having lost his place at Chelsea and also in the Spain squad, looked short of confidence at first, turning Leicester defender Harry Maguire before firing against the woodwork from an impossibly acute angle. However, Morata was back to his old self after 42 minutes. Leicester winger Riyad Mahrez lost possession, Chelsea forward William led a lightning counter-attack and then threaded it through ball to Morata. Morata galloped clear, held his nerve and slotted the coolie past Schmeichel for his first goal since Boxing Day and yet you would never know it thanks to the composed way he finished. Pedro celebrates his winner, Image, Getty Images Europe, despite being ahead, Conte hooked out a form team out Baka Yoko at halftime and brought on Cesc Fabregas and Leicester were also much better in the second half. Leicester striker Jamie Vardy headed a big chance high and wide but while he lacks the technique of world-class strikers, his indomitable spirit compares with the very best. Mares put over a cross in the 76th minute, Vicente Abora was twice denied by Chelsea defenders and stand-in keeper Willy Caballero only for Vardy to pounce on the loose ball and smash home. Suddenly, Leicester were back in business. It was a nervous ending. Yet, as the FA consider whether to scrap replays altogether, this is probably a good advert for doing away with tradition. The idea of sudden death made it even more entertaining. But just as Leicester were beginning to dream, Chelsea came up with a 105th minute winner. Kante put over a teasing cross, Schmeichel had a rush of blood to the head, raced out his goal and there was Pedro in between Leicester duo Mark Albrighton and Ben Chilwell. Despite being the smallest of the four of them, Pedro darted in, beat Schmeichel to the punch and headed into the unguarded net. Heartbreak for Leicester and yet Chelsea just 